Hey church and happy Saturday. Pastor Zach here. I just wanted to share with you something that has been on my mind a lot lately, something I shared in youth a couple weeks ago, and it's this thought that everything big first starts as something small. Think about everything around us first started as something small. A tree being grown into a big tree, it started as a small seed. Uh, a, a thought, something that you can't even see, you can't even see the impulse in the brain, but it, it turns into, that thought turns into an idea that, that and it grows into be something big. You, for example, right? We're not going to get into that talk today, but but started as something small, turned into something big. And how awesome is it that God wants to take something small and someone small, someone who's just saying, I'm available, and he wants to use them to do something big, to do something great. And I'm, as we look through the Bible, we see all sorts of stories of where God uses something small to do something big. And I think one that really stands out to me, and I'm sure it's already popped into your mind, is David and Goliath, right? Someone so small defeating someone so big. And really, when you look at the life of David, it's taking something small to be used for something great. When David first starts out, he's a shepherd. I don't know if you know this, but shepherd, that's not like a, a cool title. To have. That's not a cool job to have. But if David had never become shepherd, if he'd never taken the little thing that he was given, he wouldn't have become, he wouldn't have been able to defeat a lion. If he never defeated the lion, he ne- would have never been able to defeat Goliath. If he never defeated Goliath, he would have never been able to become king. It starts as something small, but as we're faithful, as we're making ourselves available, God can use that to do something big. Think about David going out to the battlefield. He didn't walk there with a full army. He was delivering lunch to his brother. He was doing a chore and he showed up at the battlefield. And then once he gets to the battlefield, he makes himself available. The king says, here, you, you, can't, you can't defeat Goliath. You're too small. He says, that's right. I am small, but I'm not too small because you see, I am, I'm small, but I'm a secret weapon. Secret weapons, they can't be too big. Therefore, I have to stay small. I can be used for something great. He says, okay, well, then you're going to use all of my armor. He says, no, guess what? I got something small. It's the small things. It's the little things. And maybe you're in a spot today and you, you just feel like small. You feel insignificant. You just feel like you don't have much to offer. But let me encourage you today. If you take the small things and you make yourself available, God will use you to do something great. I hope you're challenged and encouraged this morning. And remember, let's do something big with our little things.